So what I'm going to do here is uh, kind of talk you through how to add a shortcut and an activator within vMix. I know you're not going to be able to see the screen very well, but the reason I want to do this is just as a quick and dirty uh, demonstration. Um, so what I'm going to do is set up a um, go live and a preview button and set the activators for those. So uh, select MIDI settings, activate the APC mini. What I want to do is I want to add, find the key, push the key that I want, and then the function that I want. For this one, what I want to do is I want to merge my um, bird dog camera into the mix. Then what I want to do is add the button below. This is going to be to preview that same input. So here I'm going to go to input and I'm going to go to preview input and it's going to be the bird dog. In terms of getting the lights to come on, I need to create an activator. So enable device, APC mini. Then what I'm going to do is add a default uh, for the color for the button. So this one's going to be red because I've had it set up before. That's why it comes up uh, as red just now. But um, you do actually have to go through there. So default is red. And then I want to make it so that when it's active, so I come back in here, I choose again when the uh, input is bird dog, I want it to be flashing red. Okay, I then want to have the preview button yellow as default. And that is going to be yellow. And then when my camera is in the preview position, I want to have that as, so when input preview is bird dog, I want this to be yellow flashing. Okay, so now what we should have, if I press this, my bird dog camera comes up in my preview and my light flashes. Um, it's still, I'm gonna go quick play and I'm gonna put that here. So if I push the top button, my bird dog camera comes up here with a merge and the button flashes. If I switch them round, you'll see that now the activator is here. So that's adding a, a shortcut and an activator in vMix, which is kind of straightforward, but takes a little bit of time. What I'm gonna do is just deactivate those and I'm gonna go into um, central control. I'm gonna remove these. I'm going to deactivate them. I'll also power off my device. So here what I want to do is I want to add a device. I want to add vMix for control. And for me, I need to set the uh, local device as 126. And I need to add my APC mini. And for that, you then come in MIDI 8 is going to be APC mini. And I want to switch that on. Now, um, what we'll find is that if I want to set these uh, top four buttons here, what I can do is push it. So remember, this is going to be red, red, and flashing red when it's active. But then what I can do is just click to the next one, click to the third one, click to the fourth one. So then if I test them like when they're on, you're going to see that they're going to be default um, and then on they're going to be flashing. So then what I want to do is I want to set my second line. Remember this was yellow, yellow and blinking yellow. So I'm just pressing the button to go to it. And so that's my button colors set. 
And if I go into here and I test the off state, you can see that they're red and yellow. Now, what I want to do is I want to map the device. So I come in here and jump to control, which means that when I press the button, it's going to go to that button. And I'm going to add quick assign. You'll see why in a second. So I want to put the first button. I want to set the mix program to input number one and I add command. Then I'm going to press button two and it's already moved to input number two. So I'm just going to add command. I'm going to press button three and it says input three. So I'm going to add command and so on. Then what I want to do is I want to preview the mix. So set mix preview is going to be here and it's at five at the minute. So I want to take that back to one, add command. But then I just go to add command three, add command four, add command. So what we should now find is when I go into vmix, what I want to do is I want to um, preview uh, my bird dog camera and it's here. If I put it live, the light flashes red, just the same way as it did previously. Um, if I go live on some of my other inputs, what you'll see is it stops. Um, this one is for previewing uh, a specific PTZ setting. So here you can see it moves about and it flashes. If I then want to go live, I can just press that and you can see that I've got this active. And again, you can just move between them. So it's a lot quicker.